Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Our devotion for today is on Deliver Us from Evil, the seventh petition of the Lord's Prayer. We'll begin with our hymn, Lord of Our Life. Lord of our life and God of our salvation, star of our night and hope of every nation, hear and receive your church's supplication, Lord God Almighty. Lord, be our light when worldly darkness veils us. Lord, be our shield when earthly armor fails us. And in the day when hell itself assails us, grant us your peace, Lord. Peace in our hearts where sinful thoughts are raging. Peace in our church, our troubled souls assuaging. Peace when the world its endless war is waging. Peace in your heaven. A reading now from First Peter. Chapter 5. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The, uh, the apostle Peter here, he... Uh, reminds us what it means to pray, deliver us from all evil. He says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, right? That is, cast all yourself and your being onto the Lord. He cares for you, as Peter says. Humble yourselves. Don't try and do things on your own. Um, do what you can, but recognize who you are. You are a creature of your heavenly Father. Trust in him to take care of you. He goes on to say that the, the devil and all his wiles and all his ways, they are out to get you. They are, he's like a, a roaring lion seeking to devour you, to destroy your faith, to destroy your life, to make you turn away from God, to make you despair so that you do not believe in anything and think that there is only suffering and pain left for you. Well, Peter implores us, he says... Resist him, firm in your faith. He says, around the world, your brothers and sisters in Christ are going through the same types of torments. And we can consider this even in the light of the pandemic that's been going on in our world today. Our brothers and sisters in Christ around the world are going through the same types of torments. I was reading an article about Madagascar the other day where churches just like we are, just like we are not able to come to church, their governments are telling them they can't come to church either. Um, and hopefully that'll, that'll come to an end soon. Peter reminds us, though, that after we have suffered for a little while, that he will once again come and restore, confirm, and strengthen us. To him be all power and glory. Amen. And so we pray, um, deliver us from evil. And we look to God, who is the only one who can deliver us out of all evil, and indeed promises us full and final deliverance um, when he brings us to himself, either uh, when we perish or when... Uh, he comes again on that last day. So we trust in him. We pray, deliver us from evil, and we know it will be done. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we pray, deliver us from evil. In the midst of this current pandemic, we pray that you would deliver us from its evil pestilence, that you would uh, deliver our hearts from fear, that you would deliver our minds from chaos, 
and that you would deliver us not only from these things, but into your loving arms, that we might know your great love and mercy for us, and trusting in you, we might uh, be joyful and cheerful in all things. This we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah.